Hello everyone, Dr. Mandel here with you. Something so important I really want to educate you on because there's so much sickness worldwide with coughing and sneezing and germs and uh, strep throat and sinuses and all kinds of infections. Hopefully we can prevent a lot of these things and be more aware. But how far a cough travels really brought you to this particular video. We're talking about germs putting people at risk. I think that the more people who, who are educated about this topic will hopefully start making changes to help other people. Well, you can see right here, you can see the distance, how far a cost can travel uh, or a sneeze. Many, many germs. We're putting people at risk. This is how people catch diseases. This is how they get the flu. Uh, everyone coughs and there are no way, there's no way that we can stop a cough when we're sick. Uh, we get a little tickle. We don't even think of anything. But when we cough, we're expelling these teeny drops of water into the air. And if you have a sore throat or a lung disease or germs within yourself or you're ill, you are spreading these droplets. And what's amazing, according to science focus, uh, these germs can spread these droplets as far as six meters. Now, uh, one meter is like a yard. One yard is three feet. We're looking, you know, 17, 18 feet to the year. And obviously the, the droplets become big uh, initially, but they stay in the air up to 10 minutes. Now, what's really uh, crazy about this, um, which I'm going to mention here, you see this lady here. But before I talk about her, what's crazy about this is these droplets, when they fall on a table, they fall on something, and you go ahead and you touch it and you wipe your face, your nose, your eyes, or your mouth, that's how you get sick. Not only inhaling the droplets, but touching the droplets. So never, never, never touch your face until you wash your hands. If you look at this uh, young lady here, the correct etiquette on this is coughing or sneezing into your sleeve in that crook of your arm. Uh, you want to avoid coughing into your hand because you'll be spreading germs, everything that you touch. Remember, always, always wash your hands regularly with soap and water or use a hand sterilizer. That's very important. If you look here, um, look at the amount of force, 50 miles per hour. That's a, a lot of speed. Uh, up to 3,000 droplets of saliva can travel. Uh, that is serious. And that is a pretty serious thing. Uh, I also want to mention uh, handkerchiefs, disposable tissues. Always try to, to cough or sneeze into that if you can. Uh, most people do not hear, uh, have handkerchiefs handy on them. But if you have a tissue, that would be a wise decision. Now let's look over here. Here is something I really wanted to end up with because you're talking about etiquette. I love Japan. If you go to Japan, you will see everyone wearing masks. Now, why are they wearing masks? Because if they don't wear masks, they're not doing justice for other people that live with them. They're wearing, they're wearing a mask not to get sick. They're wearing a mask because they are sick and they don't want to spread the germs to other people. So, the culture has mm, so much warmth culture here. We don't see that. In many countries, obviously, we don't see that at all. I hope that this gives you a little better understanding uh, about uh, germs. Uh, there is no better way than to prevent it. And if we all can learn this and share this and let people understand the significance of this. But I want to review one quick thing. Teach your children teach your friends, teach your family, when you just touch something uh, and then wipe your mouth or your nose or your eyes, you get pink eye, conjunctivitis, you get uh, infections in here, infections getting into your system. Uh, and just be really aware of what you're doing to yourself. Always wash your hands and be very careful. Share this video. Uh, I think that a lot of people out there will benefit from this. Uh, the major epidemic worldwide is the flu, the sickness of a cold, uh, respiratory problems, ailments that can lead to other particular conditions. Realize that when you're in the open and people are coughing out in the air, those droplets are going to be 
out in the open air. And they can stay around up to 10 minutes. We say up to 17, 18 feet. They become smaller and smaller. Uh, my best advice for you, keep that immune system strong. We talk about so much good nutrition. That's why you need to have a strong immune system. Because unfortunately, there are many things that we don't have control over besides our own self. So uh, what we can't control, we really need to make the best on what we can't control in here. I ask everyone out there to check out my Facebook, Motivational Doc. Uh, check out my great videos here, my channel, great self-help videos as well as nutrition. And most important, I ask everyone out there, be blessed and make it a great day. Bye-bye now.